So community. Community is the number one aspect of a project that I look for because I didn't understand at first that the community is actually the value proposition for these projects. If the community is there, the demand is going to be there, and you have to be able to identify where these organic communities are coming from and what projects are actually building real and authentic communities because it can be faked. There's so many projects out there trying to fake this aspect for projects. So being able to analyze which ones are real is super important, especially for newer projects. The community not only sets the value of the project, but they also are the voice of the project after the fact. So you want a community that's going to be loud, enthusiastic, loyal, active, and engaged with the project. If you can find some active communities that were built from the ground up organically, those are the projects that are going to do the best. Like I said, it's not always easy to identify them, but if you just take the time to go look into these discords, I'm going to be showing you guys here soon how I go into the discord and what exactly I look for and what type of numbers I look for. But the value proposition that communities bring is really the only thing that really drives up the floor price of these projects and makes it so that people can actually make money off these type of projects because if there's no community, there's going to be no demand for the project. The community is literally the number one piece that actually brings this up is because it's like your investors, your investors in your startup company. The community is pretty much just all your different supporters for your idea of what you're going to excel on. And if you can't build that up right, then your whole project is going to fail. There's projects back in the day like Cats on Crack was a super loud and active community and you saw what they did. Blocksmith Labs, when they first dropped, they were a super loud and active community. Obviously, you have D-Gods. You have so many different projects out there that have real and active, engaged communities members and it really shows in the amount of value propositions that they were given at their all-time highs and if you can find those new projects that have new and evolving communities one, or one of the recent ones was like bad cat they had a real and authentic community I was able to identify okay this is real hype this is real people with real engagement going on and boom five to ten X out of nowhere so like you have to be able to identify where these communities are coming up and I'm gonna show you guys that how to find those communities. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so here's the project I'm gonna be using as an example. It's called Necklace Neighbors. I'm not affiliated with this project at all. I'm just using them as an example to show you guys if I think the community is real or not because I haven't looked at this project at all yet and I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I'm looking for while I'm looking for these projects. So the first thing I'm gonna look for is their pin post. How well is their pin post doing? Uh, when it comes to this pin post, they just posted this tweet yesterday and it has almost 500 likes. And you have to look at the comments, like are the comments real? Are people actually getting really involved with this? And it seems like, you know, lots of people starting to comment on the project and stuff. Obviously not all of them are loading right now, but so the first thing I look for is how well is their engagement looking? When it comes to this pinned post, I can't really tell if it's necessarily a bot or not. Like having this many likes compared to retweets, it just doesn't feel that real necessarily. So I'm already getting kind of a little bit of a red flag just because their retweets almost have the same amount of likes. Like these are all the things I'm looking for. Like I look at each single post that they have. Like this one was on the 25th, has 188 likes. This one was on the 21st, only has 58 likes. And some, you gotta you have to admit that some tweets just flat out get more exposure than others and that's okay but being able to really identify which tweets are actually real like from my understanding it almost seems like there's only about like 200 to 300 people maybe that are really active with this project right now that are looking at it actively on twitter so after i look at their twitter and i get a general average of how much engagement their posts are getting and i think it's you know somewhat real then I'm going to go and check out their Discord. From the Discord standpoint, I look at how many people are online. 2,000 online out of 15,000. So obviously they have a lot of bots, a lot of spammers. And Discords always do get a lot of bots. Like I've ran Discords that have had high numbers and you just start getting bots even if you don't you know, want them. So 2,000 online is still pretty low for the most part. And being a project, they're still growing. They're about to be launching here on the 30th. And so now after getting verified, I look at their general chat and see how often are people talking. So good thing is you are seeing people talk to each other that is relatively recent and you also want to pay attention to is it just the team that's talking to the project like is it mostly mods talking to each other is it real people talking to each other how often are they talking to each other so like right now like it still seems a relatively a little bit slow and i think that's just with the current state of the market it's you know definitely being during a bear market it's harder to get a lot of people active and engaged in this type of communities but i can only think to myself like how much hype could they really have being that this project isn't really seeing that much 
communication going on in their general chat immediately. Then I go look at their announcements. I look at, see, okay, is their announcements going crazy? And like I kind of said, almost 200 to 300 people look like they're really actively involved in this project. And I'm kind of right because each one of their announcements is getting 200 to 300 people. So really that's how many people, that's your demand right there is 200 to 300 people, at least in my in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, 200, 300 people are actually going to be active in this project. So what's the supply going to be? 5,555. Do you think all these people are going to be minting more than one? Like, are people going to be minting more than one, which I, I, you know, definitely can happen. It might be a slower mint, might go immediately. They have 3.74 whitelisted people. So they have 140 OGs. And that doesn't mean that all of those people are minting. So a lot of those people are, they can be inactive accounts. They just don't know what's going on. They flat out forgot. There's a lot of things that can happen. So you can't rely on that number to be like in line with a mint. You have to be in line with, okay, how many people are actively looking on this and getting ready for the launch? So I feel like the supply is definitely going to sell out at some point, but it's not going to be necessarily that fast. And I'm excited to see like where, you know, what's going on. But yeah, really, you just have to look for these little things when looking for the community and being able to analyze if this is like truly a really active community. I'm just saying personally, I wouldn't hop in a project like this if the project isn't really like that hyped up then I just don't usually go with projects like that because I'm not really one to like get into projects that are relatively slow around. I usually wait for like the bangers that are like super hype and then I usually get in on a secondary play. But you never know. Some of these projects do well after the fact. But I'm just telling you from a surface value, I'm not getting a lot from their community. I'm not feeling the power of their community, if that makes any sense. Just from going off their Twitter and their Discord, I can just fully analyze and tell you that I don't think this community is going to knock this project out of the park by any means.